I'm not talking about like a four star review. I'm not even talking about a three star review. I'm talking about a two star review with words <laughs> that did not make me feel good when I saw it. Hey guys, welcome to my video today. Today I just wanted to talk to you about getting a crappy review on Etsy and how to proceed when that happens. I'm Kathy. This is my channel. Nice to meet you if you haven't been here before. I'm an artist. I make videos that are art related, print on demand, or Etsy related, or both. So bad reviews suck. They are a major downer, but they happen to everybody. And it doesn't happen very often for most of us, but it did happen for me recently. I have some experience <laughs> with good reviews, bad reviews, all kinds of reviews. I wanted to share things that I've experienced and a little wisdom that I can provide will help you in a similar situation sometime. Most important thing is how you react, always, because things are gonna happen. If you're an artist using print on demand, things are gonna happen. You know, people are gonna be pissed sometimes, you know, or maybe not pissed, but that's probably a harsh word to say, but sometimes they're gonna get things that they didn't order, <laughs> you know, and we have to handle it, you know? So um, if you're not letting the print on demand company do all of your customer service for you, like say if, you, if you're like me and you have an Etsy shop and you do your customer service, um, you have to manage your customer care and it's a big deal. The most important thing is how we handle stuff that happens. That's the most important thing. Because things happen in life that are out of your control. Sometimes some things are out of our control in a review and some things are within our control that maybe we drop the ball on something. We're all human. So um, cut yourself a break and get a cup of coffee and let's go through my bad review and how I handled it, shall we? To not reply in haste. Take a minute and take a breath and don't respond. Once you post a public reply, the review is locked in and the customer is unable to change it. Not that they're going to change it anyway. Just wait. <laughs> Just take a minute because you got some you got some stuff to do before you respond. When you first read the review, that is not the headspace you want to be communicating with your customers in. So don't reply right away. You got to let the dust settle. You got to internalize a little bit. If you're like me, take some time to process. Okay, then after you process or while you're processing, how I process is due diligence. First of all, I look at the review. Note of exactly what the customer has pointed out were the deficiencies and note the points that were cherry picked and then you want to go through the entire order process your communication with them throughout the order throughout the entire order and see if and where you drop the ball there that can contribute to the points that they pointed out in the review depending on the specifics of your situation the two might not even align everything might have been fine throughout the order process and the customer just might have some problem that you could not have foreseen and that seems to be subjective i recently got this two star review here's the review two stars really overpriced for a very thin shirt in all caps very thin can see through it when put up to the light so that's in parentheses period. Didn't ship quickly at all. And then all is in all caps with an exclamation point. Never had a horrible experience on Etsy, comma, but this was unbelievably subpar, exclamation point. Blame myself for late night shopping, exclamation point. Never again in all caps, exclamation point. Kavit Mtor. C is capitalized, E is capitalized. So they clearly paid attention to their grammar. And I know this is kind of a funny thing to say, but they're building tone. Oftentimes people discuss tone getting lost in email communications or on social media. The way I see reviews is if ever there's going to be a time where somebody's going to pay attention to their tone, it's going to be in a review. I don't believe that tone is accidental in a review. 
because a review is exactly the place where you want to get your tone across. This customer used grammar and words, explained themselves very well, explained what... I keep looking over there and I apologize. I should be looking there. There. Clearly they paid attention to their tone and it was very purposeful. So I'm not looking at this in the way that, that I'm reading anybody's tone wrong. I'm reading the tone the way that the tone was meant to be read. What are the points that they're making about their unhappiness about the order? Overpriced for a very thin shirt. They're unhappy with the quality of the shirt. They didn't mention printing. Typically with print on demand, the biggest issue would be printing. That is the problem that I see most often. And it wasn't in a regular t-shirt. It wasn't, there wasn't a hole in the t-shirt. There wasn't a seam coming loose on the t-shirt. It was the material is thin. So is a complaint about the material. They're talking about the quality of the actual shirt and they're equating quality with thinness of the shirt. As somebody who's been working in t-shirts for a long time, I don't equate quality with the thinness of a shirt. There are some very nice t-shirts that are great quality, that are very thin. I'm wearing one. This is the Bella Canvas 3413. Very thin material, love the shirt. Have a million of them. They're very comfortable. It's my favorite Bella Canvas t-shirt. And this t-shirt is a little bit thicker than this one, but it's still, it's not a heavy shirt, but it's not meant to be. I do outline all of this in the description. Didn't ship quickly at all. They're unhappy with the shipping timeline. I use print on demand. I outline in my description and in my order confirmation message, the length of time my t-shirt company requires. Five to 10 days for production plus five to seven days to ship to you. So overall, it could be anywhere from 12 to 17 days before you get your shirt. Or it could be earlier than that, depending on the production queue that my print on demand partners are dealing with at the time that the order comes in. Never had a horrible experience on Etsy, but this was unbelievably subpar. That's very confusing because I don't remember a time when I dropped the ball in the communication. They're blaming themselves for late night shopping. Never again. Okay. When a customer first places a t-shirt order in my store, I sent an order confirmation message and that outlines all the details about the order. It even tells you uh, how to proceed if there's something that's not right. I also add attachments, how to take care of your t-shirt. So there's a lot of information. They don't order and then just like a product shows up on their doorstep in a week. I try to open that communication door early, right away, so that they feel comfortable sharing with me if there's something wrong. And they didn't do that but um, they did leave a review. When somebody leaves a review, an unsatisfactory review, and they don't communicate with me beforehand, the way that I see that being somebody who I'm very big on communication, that is a person that I feel is not somebody who really maybe wants to solve their problem. Before I will respond publicly, I will respond to them privately, and I will respond to all of their points. That is what I did here, and I will read it to you. Hi, blank. Thanks so much for your detailed review. I'm so disappointed to learn that you're unhappy with your tea and with your overall experience shopping with me. That's a huge bummer, and I'm sorry for that. So they didn't um, explicitly say that they were unhappy with the overall experience, but it was very clear throughout reading the review that they were. I only sell teas, which I've tried, selected, and rated myself. I'm so sorry the Bella Canvas 301 t was not satisfactory to you. I've done my research on this model. It's a t-shirt made with quality materials that's produced with environmental sensitivity. It's also currently the most popular t-shirt here on the Etsy platform, so I know that it has a lot of fans here. That said, it did not meet your quality standards, and I am sorry for that. I explained to them that I actually do vet the t-shirts before I choose the t-shirts for my sh shop. So full disclosure, 3001 is not my favorite t-shirt. It's a cut issue. It's not a fabric issue with me. Um, my favorite is the Bella Canvas 3413. The 3001 is the most popular t-shirt on Etsy to my knowledge. It's just not cut for me. It's too long and the arms are too long and it's just not my favorite, but um, it's everybody else's favorite. So I do have a, quite a number of them and I really do like the fabric. If it was a different cut, 
I'm just a short person with a shorter torso and it's made for a longer person. It just fits longer. So anyway, that's neither here nor there and it really has no bearing on this. Um, I've tested and tried the 3001 and worn a lot of them um, repeatedly and excessively. <laughs> so I do know that it is a quality t-shirt. It's not like your, st your typical heavyweight t-shirts. Clearly there was a misunderstanding there. I'm sorry that you were not satisfied with the level of customer care you received from me and my shop. I strive to have the happiest customers on Etsy. I pride myself on my high level of customer care. I try really hard to connect with my customers, communicating in the form of order com communication messages, detailed information in the form of visual attachments, and providing further order updates as needed. Unfortunately, looking back on the history of your order and our communication, I don't know how I could have improved things between us. Please feel free to message me to share your insights. I will use any details you provide to improve my shopping experience for future customers. I'm not assuming that they're even going to answer this. Um, I'm not assuming they're going to shop with me again, or I'm not assuming that I can even make them happy. I just want to use that information to improve the shopping experience for future customers if they are willing to share that with me. I, again, did not expect them to do this. This is what I need to do because this is my process. Okay, in this next section, I'm addressing the shipping time that they thought was took a very long time. My tea production turnaround time is five to 10 days. This is pre-shipping. This is stated in the listing, and I am sorry if that was misunderstood or confusing. I am apologizing if it was misunderstood by them, but I've already been transparent about this information. However, they actually got their t-shirt on a really good timeline, so I don't understand. <laughs> I endeavor to be as transparent with my shoppers as I possibly can be because I great, you va greatly value transparency as a shopper myself. Your order was received on April 20th and was delivered to you on April 29th. The turnaround time was quite speedy in comparison with the production and delivery timeline stated in the listing details. So they got their t-shirt from order to door in nine days, which is very good. You'll see how I address that in my reply to the review. So now I'm doing the wrap up. It is always my goal to continue to improve wherever I can, and your message has successfully inspired me to continue to stay very aware of aspects of my customer experience, which could benefit for, from some attention and potentially some improvements, because we can always improve. Always improve. You learn from every situation. <laughs> and here's one I'm learning from, too. Thank you for sharing your feedback on my shop, my products, and my overall customer care. Best, Kathy. So I sent this to them same day and I waited a day. I'm not going to wait longer than a day because I just don't see the point. If somebody's going to reply, they're going to reply as soon as they get it, or as soon as they see it. If a customer is looking for resolution, if they're looking to fix a problem, they will respond. If they're not, then they won't. So unless they're in an airplane somewhere, they're going to respond if they get that message and they want to resolve the issue to their satisfaction. So Etsy allows sellers to reply to reviews and they only give them like, I think it's like 800 characters or something like that. It's enough that you can do a nice paragraph, but it's not like enough that you can do two or three nice paragraphs. So that's fine. Um, you don't want to read a book anyway. Here's how I responded. I'm so disappointed to read that Blank is unhappy with their tea and with their overall experience with me. So the first thing you notice is that I'm not addressing the customer directly because I'm writing this to future readers. I'm not communicating with them directly. Number one, if they wanted to communicate with me, they would have already replied to the personal message that I sent. Number two, I'm replying to this review for future review readers. I already replied to the customer in the private Etsy convo. Now I'm replying to their review for future shoppers in my store. And that's why this is not addressed to my customer. I am so disappointed to read that this customer is unhappy with their tea and with their overall experience with me. I'm very sorry for that. I only sell teas I've personally, personally vetted. 
The Bella Canvas 3001 has quality materials, is made with environmental integrity, and is the most popular t-shirt on Etsy. So I know that it has a lot of fans here. That said, it did not meet customer names standards, and I'm sorry for that. I'm replying point by point directly to those complaints, speaking directly to those complaints, and I'm not speaking to any other potential complaints that were not written there. That said, it did not meet customer standards, and I'm sorry for that. Regarding delivery timeline, those details are stated in both the listing itself and in the order confirmation message. Five to 10 days pre-ship. In consideration of that, customer's tea was delivered in a timely manner, just nine days from order to door. I strive to have the happiest customers on Etsy. I pride myself on my high level of customer care. I'm sorry that this customer had an unsatisfactory experience shopping with me. So addressing their complaints in the review in your reply is key. And it's really up to you whether or not you want to Everything's up to you, but it's up to you whether or not you want to address the customer or not in the review or speak to the general public who is shopping with you. I guess that depends on what you do when you get a bad review. Are you going to personally reach out to your customer, which I think is always a good idea, if for no other reason to close your own loop so you know that you've done everything that you can, even if you don't expect that they're going to reply back to you. And sometimes they do, but sometimes they won't. Probably most of the time they won't. For me, usually if they're going to communicate an issue with me, they're going to communicate their issue with me privately. That's usually how it goes because you set the tone right after the order. And if the tone you're setting is open communication, then that's what you're inviting. You set your customer culture, you lead by example. So that's what I do. Usually if there's a problem, I will hear about it in a private message and I will take care of it through that private message. It's very rare for me to hear about a problem for the first time on a review like this. Even if I hear a issue about a t-shirt that is not a printing related one, it's like a fabric one, I will try and do things to support the customer even if I can't refund them or take back the t-shirt or whatever. I'm pretty accommodating. I try to be accommodating as possible without forgetting that I'm a for-profit business. Customer care is highly important, especially in this day and age when like there's very hands-off customer care. I kind of go the opposite way. I'm zagging when they're zagging. So, well, I hope this helped you today in some way. I would say it did help me too. It does help me because I love to share stuff with you and I want to help you improve your customer service too, especially now because Etsy's making a lot of changes right now and I think customer care is going to become more and more important. And it makes me very glad that I've been zagging <laughs> doing this customer care thing for years and years now. I'm pretty happy that I have some systems in place that have been there for years and years. So that's a good thing. Anyway, I hope this video has helped you today and I will see you in the next video and I hope you have a great day. Bye.